What's up people, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best free video editing software of 2017. That's right. I put together a video maybe like a month ago or something like that where I pretty much talked about the uh, overall the top three video editors in my opinion and uh, pretty much just a little insight into each one of them, what they uh, offer and kind of a little bit of just like I said, insight into those three programs that I selected. Now today, like I just said, we're going to be doing the top five best free video editing softwares. Of course, there's loads of people who um, maybe haven't realized how easy it is to fucking get any program on the computer for free. <laughs> um, I'm not saying, you know what I mean, that I personally do that. All I'm saying is I've heard it's extremely easy to get um, pretty much any program you want for free on the computer. I've just heard about it. I don't know. Pretty much this is the top five best free video editing software of 2017, personally in my opinion. And um, in terms of a free video editing software, you are kind of at a huge disadvantage, obviously, uh, for you know a, a few different reasons. Not all of them accept all file formats. Also, uh, some of them are a little bit weird when you decide to try export your file. They may even try put like a weird watermark on your stuff or, or something like that. But overall, you can actually edit videos pretty efficiently on a free video editing software. And these are uh, personally the ones that I would suggest using other than the last two, really. The, the last two are just trash. You just have to wait to find out what they are, but you'll probably agree when you get to the end that they are trash. First up on the list is HitFilm for Express. That is right. A, a lot of other creators would probably agree if they've messed around with these free video editing software. HitFilm for Express is definitely, I guess, top of the range as far as a free video editing software, but please correct me down below in the comment section if there's another software you found that is a little bit better. And it is available for Mac and Windows. Very user-friendly interface and comes with a lot of different effects and, uh, and, and plugins and stuff like that. Now, some of the effects and plugins are completely free and they just get provided with the software. However, there's others that you actually can pay for to kind of build up your effects and uh, assets and stuff like that to, to edit your videos and make them look cooler. It's kind of like a pay um, uh, pay to win type type uh, deal. I'm not sure if pay to win is probably the best way to say it, but uh, definitely pay to improve your experience on this program. So it's not entirely free. But if you are similar with any sort of Adobe program, such as Premiere Pro, HitFilm for Express is very, very similar user face to Premiere Pro. So you will not have a, uh, much problem figuring out how to use it if you are coming over from Premiere Pro. But thinking about it, this is a free video editing software. Premiere Pro is just like top range video editing software. I don't know how many of you will be coming to HitFilm Express from Premiere, but personally, it reminds me of Premiere. Number two on the list is DaVinci Resolve, and this uh, is actually originally designed as a color correcting software, and uh, it's been around for a while as well, but it's originally designed as a color correcting software that has now kind of been tweaked into an all-around general video editor, and not just focusing in on the color correction, but as you can probably imagine, if something has come up from being one thing to now be another, that original thing that it came up being is extremely, extremely good inside of DaVinci Resolve, and DaVinci Resolve is actually a, uh, a very, very top tier um, color correction program still, even though it's kind of coming to this market as a video editor as well. It is of course available for Mac and Windows and is extremely similar to HitFilm uh, for Express in terms of its general layout. However, it actually offers you to be able to render and export your files in MP4 format, opposed to HitFilm for Express actually only allowing you to export in .mov files. And by the way guys, all links will be available down below to all of these free video editing software, but uh, to actually get yourself DaVinci Resolve, go to blackmagicdesign.com slash products slash DaVinci Resolve, and you'll be able to download this for free. Third up on the list is VSDC Video Editor. Now, I'm, I'm gonna level with you completely. This used to be absolute garbage. It used to be trash. It used to be just, <laughs> well, to be fair, trash says it all, really. But recently, they've actually done a lot of updates. Um, recently in the past year, actually, that recent. So this is very much newly on the top five list of the best free video editing software of 2017. And uh, just basically recently, they've done some software updates to it, um, some, some user interface updates to it, so it looks much nicer and overall is a much more uh, user-friendly program than it was before. However, one of the downsides is they are only still giving this to Windows users. So yes, it's not available on the Mac, 
but it is kind of a little bit different to uh, your average video editor in the fact that it comes with screen recording abilities. That is right, you can actually capture your screen and uh, create a video out of that. So I guess this software could also be described as kind of a video editing suite as it offers just not just uh, your average cut and paste timeline to put together video clips, but also the ability to capture video itself. So very interesting there, but again, it's only available to Windows, which kind of sucks for all the Mac users out there and completely standardly comes with lots of transitions and effects. Of course, the built-in effects on all these programs are a, a, a little bit iffy to say the least, to be fair, but it does come with them. To download this software, go to videosoftdev.com slash free dash video dash editor to get this today. And moving on to number four on the list. Number four up on the list is Blender. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Jack, Blender is an animation software. This is not a video editor. You're right. If you know anything about Blender, it is originally just primarily a uh, animated software, completely free for anyone to get. It uh, works kind of like Cinema 4D or something like that, where you can um, just pretty much animate 3D objects and stuff like that, create different animations. Basically, this is not a practical video editor whatsoever. However, if you decide you want to make it a practical video editor, you can actually retransform the user interface of Blender to make it a very, very, very suitable video editor for you. However, this takes a lot of time and overall, it's just not worth all the tweaking and hassle uh, it really takes to transform this essentially animator into a standard timeline video editor. So I would not advise you doing it, but it definitely makes the list as I've heard some some very promising things from users who have spent the time actually tweaking this and have built it into a video editing software opposed to just an animated thing. But if you actually want to get it, go to blender.org slash download and you will be able to mess around with it. Uh, I'd advise definitely looking into, into at least one tutorial, probably more on how to fully transform this into a video editor. Uh, but I've had actually heard some very effective things. But moving on to number five on the list, and that is kind of encompassing two. And these are pretty much the factory defaults that will come with each system. And that actually is, of course, iMovie if you're on Mac or, yep, I'm about to say it, Windows Live Movie Maker if you are on Windows. Kind of trash programs. iMovie is definitely heaps better than Windows Live Movie Maker, I believe, but both are uh, just the factory default video editors that come with your system when you buy it. Both trash, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> both just complete trash. But you can technically still do some stuff, I guess. The reason they make this list is because they straight up just come with your computers. Uh, so if you get a Mac, you will, uh, I believe, instantly have iMovie. If you get a computer Windows PC, rather, you will instantly have Windows Live Movie Maker. But if you do not, just Google Windows Live Movie Maker and you'll be able to download it straight from the internet. And iMovie, just go to the built-in app store on your iMac or MacBook or whatever it is. Uh, to actually be able to get iMovie if I'm mistaken it doesn't just come factory default on your computer but both okay timeline video editors um I guess uh, <laughs> you don't really have much to do but say you just have to cut stuff up and put some music over it or something both of these will serve you absolutely fine I probably wouldn't fuck around with uh with the effects of transitions either they look very amateur but I suppose if you really want a first free video editing software you've never fucked with any other video editing software before this is your first screw it, whatever try it out uh I, I guess it's okay to a certain extent but only if you're cutting and pasting and stuff like that i'm gonna be i'm gonna be very honest but overall guys thank you for watching the video let me just check that my camera has not stopped recording which it has not it has not no hold on Oh, thank fuck. Jeez, you don't know the heart attack I just had. Oh, fuck. I thought the camera might have stopped recording. It didn't. Then, I thought my mic wasn't on, which, god damn it, that's worse than the camera not recording. I'd rather have no file than watch my video that could be done um, just with no fucking audio. Anyways, not your problem. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've been Jackaris Jack Cole. If you've enjoyed these uh, video editing tips and um, overall just video-based videos, goddamn videoception out here, then make sure to slap the subscribe button. I know like 75% of my audience that watch each video isn't even subscribed. You guys are just coming off Google or you're coming off uh, just the YouTube search page or something. So if you've made it at the end of the video, I, I, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video, but fuck it. If you have made it to the end of the video, subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.